what happened to us on palm oil production in the 50s and 60s is the same thing now threatening to happen to us where cocoa is concerned, where a foreign country comes in, takes our cocoa materials, and takes our human expertise. They go and set up their operation, raise the standards of productivity and quality of the product so that we become the junior partner. <laughs> now, I'm saying this because we all know in recent times that China entered the cocoa market very aggressively. And who were the people who helped them do that? Right under our noses, some more than 30 something extension workers at village level were hired and taken out of this country, paid $3,000 a month. Now, who will not accept $3,000 a month? You, they will take it. But the expertise that we built in them and the technical capacity, they have exported that. That is what our competitors are now using their government policy. The things that we won't do to create incentive, they have done to create incentive over there, expanded rapidly the cocoa acreage to levels which are now competing with us, and now are raising the standards for exports. Those are the things which policy is responsible for. Policy is not about just looking at what is happening helplessly. We have to have direct interventions that will, will, will promote the good things and reduce the bad things.